Hey, what's going on guys? It is Jack here from First Andrea and welcome to a, another video on this channel. So, just before we get into this video, um, if you, if I cough or sniff up um, at all in this video, uh, it is because I, uh, I have a cold and, uh, yeah, you know, um, I didn't, well, I was thinking about making this just a text only video. But then I thought, nah, you 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 guys don't deserve a text only video. I think I think um, I think you know because I wasn't a video last week. You you guys deserve a, a talking video, and uh, I don't like to really do text only videos. Um, I prefer to do them, you know, face to well camera to face videos. But yeah, um, sorry if you do hear me cough, swallow, or sniff in this video at all a lot. Because, you know, um, I've got a cold. Before we get into this though, I'm very, very unlucky actually. Because the week that I've got a, a sore throat, there is midweek games as well. So I've got to tell you, talk to you about the midweek games. As well as the, uh, you know, the weekend games. So, here goes. So, um, for West Brom and Arsenal, which was actually a really shock result. Uh, I went for, hang on a minute. I've actually put Arsenal on three one that game. No, they did not. Um, that's how much of a shock it was. So um, I predicted West Brom would lose that one two nil, and they actually won three one against Arsenal. Palace and Watford, I predicted that'd be one one, and it was one nil to Palace. Everton and Hull, I predicted Everton would win two nil, they won four nil. Stoke and Chelsea, I predicted that'd be three nil Chelsea. It was two one Chelsea. Sunderland and Burnley, I predicted 1 0, it was actually 0 0. West Ham and Leicester, I predicted that would be Leicester 1, West Ham 0 at the London Stadium, it was actually 3 2 Leicester. Bournemouth and Swansea, I predicted Bournemouth would win that one 2 1 at home. Instead, they uh, won 2 0. Middlesbrough and United, I predicted Middlesbrough, went on three, uh, sorry, Middlesbrough would lose that one 3 0. They won that one. Uh, so, oh, what am I? Middlesbrough and Man United, I predicted United would not win that one 2-0 and they actually won that one 3-1 at the Riverside Stadium. I think Middlesbrough, they are going down in my opinion. Like, they're one of those sides, like last season probably I would, I would have said that they're, they're like Norwich. They're not really getting that much media about being down near the bottom. Not many people are talking about them, you know, as possible candidates for relegation. But uh, last season, I was, so, I was actually surprised to see Norwich get relegated because... I didn't think that they were down that far. Like I thought that they were uh, just a little bit like bottom end of mid table, but they were near the bottom. So you know, I think and that's the same with Middlesbrough. I didn't expect them to be this far down, you know, but they are. Like I didn't realise they were this far down, um, but they are now. And I think you know that they they're going down. They they they've been poor of late, and you know, uh, I read. A, I think it was might have been on the. The, one of the, a video I watched saying the last time they had a good cup one, which this time they got to the quarterfinals, they got relegated. So, so you know, you know, it looks like uh, that that's going to happen again. Tottenham and Southampton. I predict that one right. I predicted it would be two one to Tottenham, and it was. And Man City and Liverpool. I predicted that would be two one to Liverpool, and it was one one. So. Now moving on to the weekend games, which uh, start on the first of April two thousand seventeen. So, uh, Liverpool and Everton. I predicted Liverpool. I, I predict Liverpool and Everton will draw one all. I I don't know. I think they're both around. You know, the same. Maybe around the sort of around the same area of the league, and I think that they will. Uh, you know, play out a, a one all draw in the Merseyside derby, at Anfield. Burnley and Tottenham. I predicted Tottenham are going to win that one two one. I think Burnley are always really strong at home. That's why I've given them a goal, you know, only losing by one goal. Usually, if they weren't as good at home, I think they'll get thrashed by Tottenham if it was maybe at um, White Hot Lane. But I think they're really solid at home, so I do think that they will uh, only narrowly lose there. Chelsea and Palace, I'm going to predict Chelsea to win 2 0 at Stamford Bridge. They very rarely lose at Stamford Bridge, and I think that they'll, they'll win another game there. Hull and West Ham, I'm going to say. West Ham 3, Hall 1 at the KCOM. 
I think uh, Hull are struggling at the bottom near the bottom like I thought at the start of the season. Um and I think that they'll they'll pick up another defeat. Leicester and Stoke. I'm gonna go with Leicester to win two one against Stoke. Uh Manchester United and West Brom, I'm gonna say Manchester United three, West Brom one. West Brom are playing really well. This is one of the best seasons they've had, um, in, in the Premier League. And um I think that they will they'll lose at Old Trafford unfortunately though. Um, Watford and Sunderland. I'm gonna predict Watford won Sunderland nil. Um, Sunderland. I think I think the bottom three at the end of the season in no in no particular order is gonna be Hull, Sunderland, and Middlesbrough. I do. I just. I just. I just can't see. You know the two northeast sides getting away from the relegation zone and then Hull. I'd like to see them stay up. I like Hull, but I don't know if they will. Southampton and Burnley. I'm gonna say Southampton to Burnley. No, that I think that's just a you know just a, a. I just think that's gonna happen really. I don't know too much why. I just think you know uh, Southampton are a really good side. I think they'll turn over Bournemouth two 0 Swansea and Middlesbrough. I'm gonna say two 0 to the Welsh side. As I said, Middlesbrough being poor this season, I don't think they'll stay up. I think that they'll really struggle. You know this run into the end of the season. Swansea, on the other hand, they they've made a brilliant comeback. They were really poor under the likes of I think it was, oh, uh, they definitely had Bob Bradley. They had a Italian manager as well, Guidolin. I think I think it was Guidolin. And uh, yeah, they they weren't very good under those two managers, but now Paul Clement's come in. He he's turned them around, and I think they'll stay up, and I think they'll beat Middlesbrough two 0 and for the game of the weekend, Arsenal and City. I'm going to say Arsenal are going to be, are going to lose against City two one at the Emirates Stadium. In my opinion, that's the game of the weekend. It's going to be a really interesting game. Arsenal are doing too well. City are doing pretty good in the league. So I think you know this is a this is a rehearsal, dress rehearsal, for the semi final of the FA Cup. So yeah, I I I do think City will win that one two one away from home. Now moving on to the midweek fixtures, which start on Tuesday the fourth of April. I'm gonna go Burnley and Stoke to play out a one all draw. Uh, Leicester to beat Sunderland two 0 I think uh, you know since they, well, in my opinion, wrong wrongly, but maybe in Leicester's opinion rightly because they've been playing really well since they sacked. Um, oh, uh, what's his name? Claudio Ranieri, um, they've played really well under Craig Shakespeare, so I think they'll pick up another win. Watford and West Brom, I'm going to say Watford are going to lose that one 2 1 against West Brom. Everton and United, now, this is, I predicted 2 all. Now, I always seem to think Everton and Manchester United always have really close games, like really interesting matches, and they're both around the same point in the table. You know, United are 5th and Everton are 7th. And I think that'll be two all at Old Trafford. Arsenal and West Ham. I think they're going to get back to winning ways uh, with a two one win against Arsenal against Arsenal against West Ham. Hull and Middlesbrough. This is a relegation six pointer in my opinion, but I'm going to say it's going to be one all. I think whoever wins that game is going to stand more of a chance of of uh, survival in the Premier League. If they if whoever loses it, I think they're dead and buried, unless they can really get their act together. Southampton and Palace, I'm going to say Southampton do that one 2 1 at uh, the St Mary's Stadium. I think that'll be a pretty routine victory for Southampton. It might be a bit difficult later on in the game, you know. If Palace, I think I think Southampton are going to go 2 0 up and Palace are going to grab a goal later on and put pressure on them, I think. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be a, a good game for Southampton. Swansea and Tottenham are going to say Tottenham are going to win at 3 0 at the Liberty Stadium over in Wales. I think that's going to be a, a onslaught for Tottenham. And, you know, I think Swansea won't be able to handle with Tottenham, who were pretty good. They're 10 points behind Chelsea at the minute uh, before the weekend games. And I think that they will uh, they'll, they'll beat Swansea, who are actually one, well, one place above the relegation zone, but uh, three points above that. So. Yeah, I don't think they'll be in any trouble uh, from that loss. Unless the teams below them all win. Anyway, uh, 
Chelsea and Man City, that's the game of the midweek fixture. They're going to go Chelsea to win that one 2 1 at um, the Stamford Bridge. Now, I usually would have said Man City to win that one, but as Chelsea are doing so well in the league, I just can't see how they could lose. And for the final game of this episode, Liverpool and Burnley, I'm going to say Liverpool 2, Burnley 0 at the Anfield. So, if you did enjoy this video, a like would be much appreciated. It's quite difficult to predict the midweek games because I haven't seen the weekend fixtures and I don't know the results from them. So I don't like, I don't know, you know, if a team's just been absolutely thrashed and I've predicted them to win because I think they're going to win in the week before. You know, I can't really forecast that. But yeah, um, if you did enjoy this video, uh, like would be much appreciated. Subscribe if you are new around here and you do enjoy the content you're seeing. Um, if you do enjoy this series, the playlist to the rest of them will be in the description. Check out Man and Callum's Twitters. Uh, yeah, follow them if you would. Uh, if you would like to, I've just recently passed 100 followers, so thank you for that. And uh, yeah, that is all for today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.